All right, so I went and bought a bunch of aluminum, as you can see over there. And I was going to trim this out and then run a bar across the back and then take the swim deck that I bought, just cut off the lid, you know, and basically frame it in with tubing. But, so I threw that on there and I'm like, you know, it'd be kind of nice to use the whole thing, but part of the problem I have is, you know, that box I extended out gets in the way, you know, both of this going down and the, um, the pump cover, which is right here. So, you know, and everything would fit in the pump cover. The exhaust is low enough or out of the way. But I really just don't like all that space in there. And, you know, if anything leaks, you, you know, basically have water in there. I don't know. Probably not that big a deal. But certainly not an easy weld job, you know, to go around that box now. I'm sure, you know, if you put all that on early on, probably wouldn't have been that big a deal. But, I don't know. Something about it I just don't care for. So, my thought now is... I pulled this out. This is the the pieces to to build these little uh, side pieces here down to the top of that deck. And I thought, well, I could still put that on, you know, with the top lid. Um, then I don't have to trim this funky angle and stuff. I just basically do it with the the metal that came with the kit. Um, you know, then probably just cut the bottom of that out. You know, maybe up to here where the tubing is going to be. So basically, you could trim the top out, bring tubing across, um, maybe trim that bottom piece with tube. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. I kind of eyeball it out, see what makes sense, and go from there. So, got this fitted in. Essentially, uh, had to grind, mark, grind, mark, grind, mark. Basically, match all my warps and um, get the width right to fit down in there to match up these edges here. So, I think next I'm going to go ahead and cut the, uh, the round pipe to go in uh, up underneath here and so I'll go ahead and fit that and um, I got some three-quarter inch angle I was thinking about putting up in that corner up here I don't know I'm on the fence on that one because I think if I just tack it and weld it you know I got, I'm not gonna need that much support you know this bar here welds top and bottom here you know, all along the back, got this sitting on the box. Just doesn't seem like you need that. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Um, round bar here. And then basically, um, my bottom supports and um, uh, skid plate under, you know, between those bottom supports you know bent down coming over and I'm not sure if I'm gonna bend that or not I thought about just, just doing 45s and and welding it but the bent seems like a better support so I might give it a go just fill it with sand try and bend it 
I don't know, we'll see. But then after all this is done, I'll just trim this off with this that one and a half inch pipe. And uh or one and a quarter or whatever it is. But you know, this will be kind of a funky trim job for sure. So I got the swim deck on. Um, still need some welding refinements, but um, it's basically on. I've been in a hurry to get it done so I could take my granddaughter out on the river today. And um, I think we're good enough for the day. Um, one thing I still need to do, I just went square here instead of trying to bend it. Um, I was gonna end up putting a skid plate there. I wanted that skid plate to come all the way back. So I just ended up um, going square. It makes everything easy. It'll be a nice even skid plate with the, with the bottom of the boat. So it'll just be a continuation of the keel pretty much. Um, and let's see. Yeah, pretty much just cut off the back of that swim deck, use the top, put... Um, this one and five eighths, I think it is OD. Um, pretty heavy wall, this pipe. Um, I just tacked it on the bottom. Um, obviously tacked the top and just welded it through. Got a few things to clean up there. The setting seemed to be right on the welder, but you know, I get about this far and, and then start screwing up. So I'd stop and restart, but that's my welding level. But overall, not bad. I'll smooth all that up later and take off the little the high spots. But um, so I'm hoping that, uh, let's see. Now, yeah, reverse bucket's hooked up. Let's see. I'm hoping that this, um, hold on a sec. That this deck comes out far enough that um, when the reverse bucket goes down, that the water that comes up, you know, hits the deck rather than flying over the back of the boat. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, if it doesn't, I'd probably end up extending this or something. But one thing I did do was made some adjustments to the trim because the factory trim is really minimal. It's not, it's not like a jetivator or anything. Um, it really doesn't move much it's basically just a you know it's for a jet ski not a boat you know it's got different dynamics um, on the water so ultimately it'd be nice to have more more up or down but I basically adjusted it to where um, when it's all the way up I have a slight up push from the from level and then I have more adjustment down just to lower the front of the boat just because it is so minimal you know and I thought about that it's like well it could possibly change the uh, the geometry of the arm that runs that and give it a longer throw per adjustment I just I really don't know how much I care I mean for the moment I'm just going to test out the boat see how it performs if there's a performance situation where you know I think that's necessary then I'll make it um, otherwise not too concerned the reverse bucket and I, I know there's better buckets and these aren't ideal you know the original jet ski bucket but <clears throat> you know like I said as long as I can reverse around as needed I mean maybe in some stronger currents where I want to you know I'm, I may want a, a better reverse than you know just to push the boat faster because I don't think this reverse is anything to uh, write home about you know I, I'd end up changing that reverse bucket which you know I'll, I'll look into it um, and you know 
right here I'm looking at this and it's like well with this down this water is going to be shooting down here so I don't know about that angle you know this may be obstructive you know and, and maybe it would actually be better to to move this bar in um, so things like that I'll work out later we'll see how it performs you know like I said if there's a need I'll 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 modify it, change it. For now, I'm just trying to kind of get the boat usable and testable. You know, and I think that in the future there'll be other modifications I'll look at and say, well, that needs to be better or whatever. So here's the swim deck. Hopefully that'll work out. Ultimately, the plan on this is, and I'll work on this as time goes on. Yeah, I've got the tubing, but I'm just gonna trim this with the same tubing I used here. So it'll be a little bulky, but I don't know if there's much structural about it. I could probably just use smaller tube for that, just because it's mostly trim. Um, unless I thought, well, I need the structure of a bigger piece of pipe, but I really kind of don't think so. Um, I mean, everything adds, you know, it's like this right here. I can tell there's a little bit of a warp right here. You know, but essentially my thought was, you know, you cut a groove in the tubing, slip it on, you know, and then fit all your your corners. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but I've got the large tubing. I think I actually have some smaller tubing too, but basically finished trimming off those, those wings over there. And, um, you know, kind of go from there, so probably weld those hooks on today so I can throw some straps on it um, trailer worked out pretty good um, I ended up getting 14 inch tires and wheels for it new um, repacked the bearings bearings were okay I wouldn't wouldn't mind just changing the hubs and bearings just to have just a, a new starting point but um, and the fenders could be moved a little bit but tires under the fender but it's, it's a little bit there's not as much gap for travel back here, so I'll probably end up, you know, cutting this off, just moving it that way, centering the tire to the to the uh, fender because I don't need that much width. And ended up five sixteenths here. Uh, new chains, hooks. Um, I was gonna put a, a jack here um, in this hole, that style jack, but then I thought, eh really is nice being able to turn this up and just get it out of the way so I mean there's better jacks than that that you can do a weld on for that situation where you can actually pin them and pull them off and I may end up with that but I think this for now is structurally sound um, I was gonna put side side supports on it but after I welded it up and I really don't think there's any any side weakness at this point so I'm kind of okay with that I would just put this back on seems like a pretty good little strap strap crank um, you know I got a new hook for it that would fit over this big old fat eye but um, yeah, a little sharp edge right there huh have to fix that so anyway trailer's good to go a little welding back there I'll probably get into the finer points of maybe trying to buff this and make it not look so raw, but I kind of gave up on looks a long time ago, so I um, want it structurally sound, decent, and dependable. Um, so we'll get another day on the water today, a couple hours hopefully. Um, you know, continue to look for any leaks, but I don't think there are any. We were out for a while last time, and what water was in the boat never got to be more water, so it was only maybe three quarters of an inch at the very back of the boat. So I think we're good on that. Now, took it out for a run today. Put a little bit of that footage at the end of this. Um, and I noticed on the back, <clears throat> had two streams of water coming out the sides here, so without the skid plate, I'm assuming that the water is just catching those bars and flipping it up in other words it's kind of catching here and coming up off the side of the the pump so i get that skid plate put on 
But uh, I just threw a GoPro sticker thing on there, mount, what, whatever. It's got some forward and backward <clears throat> footage, but doesn't show a whole lot. But um, anyway, everything ran great. Yeah, I tell you, the whole shots had my wife and my granddaughter in there. And there's plenty of room on that seat for sure. So I'm really happy with the, the seating arrangement. And um, yeah, motors is per, and I think it's got 1.3 hours on it now. So or m maybe more, I don't know. But <clears throat> anyway, um, found a good spot in the river to go up a ways. Didn't go down, but from what I understand, there's more space down there. And got to test it out in some rapids. Not nothing real big, kind of um, just a shallow spot with ripples, more or less. Um, with a little bit of current and went up it slow until we hit rock so I knew we were, it was shallow enough to hit the bottom just going slow and um, then got to run that and just zip right up it so that was cool and you know river running is all new for me on a, with a motorboat at least <clears throat> lots of kayaking experience I know how to read currents and and deal with them but um, yeah just getting used to the controls um, Reverse is kind of weak for sure. I, I would think that's something I definitely want to improve. I'm sure with that bar set up there, you know, it's, it's still not going to be ideal. So there may be a better way to do that. Um, you know, with curved bars, it just it puts the skid plate back. Maybe that's not a big deal. You know, that seems pretty protective there, but I don't know if it's really necessary. So, but other than that, yeah, it fires up, runs good every time. Runs strong, pretty smooth. There's a little bit of rattling at certain RPMs or situations. I was like, it almost sounded like it's coming from underneath the the dash, but um, and it's definitely loud when you're when you're running. Um, but you know, I'm sure that'll be a little better with an engine cover. But you know. Um, definitely happy with the situation. I still haven't hooked up that tank yet, so I kind of want to flush it out before I connect the two. So the gas gauge seemed to work. It went down like one little section on the on the gauge, but still, I, I don't think there's. I think there's still quite a bit of fuel in there, but I probably just need to top it off one of these days and um, see what it actually reads, because obviously it's not the original tank. The original tank, I think, was taller. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe it was shorter. I don't know. Looking at it over there, but um, so this might be taller, and it might actually be like, yeah, it's definitely taller. Okay, so it might be that when you're at half, it's 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 showing different than it would otherwise. Um, but we definitely got some water in the boat, about the same amount as last time, which you know we weren't really in the in the river that any longer so I was like well <laughs> it's hard to say but it's coming in or leaking somewhere and I, I really don't know where it could be a pinhole somewhere um, I'd like to it'd be great if we just like take it to a lake and just spend a day there and to see what it takes on um, at least more time because you know if you just let it sit there not running and the thing doesn't get any water in it I don't know I know that's something I'm probably gonna have to try and go out running and and just really get down there and, and look if it's coming from the hole I mean you can't access a lot of stuff to find out where it's coming from so um, you know I checked all the clamps everything's clean clear so anyway I'll throw some footage from running and uh, I'll probably add that skid plate next couple of days to take it out again uh, just see what the difference is, if anything. Not a big deal, but I just kind of want to hit the river. Weather's supposed to be good. So, get some more run time on it. And, you know, it's still running in L mode, so I'm I'm real curious once it gets out of that 10 hours on it and comes out of L mode, which is low RPM mode or low power mode. You know, whatever. It seems to run pretty strong. Um, but, oh, wow, look at that. What happened there? I got a bolt hanging on my airbox mount. That's definitely rubbing. But 
What the heck? The nuts back there. Oh, they weren't lock nuts. Oh, that was hardware I was supposed to get stainless for and change out. I think. I don't know. The bolts look like stainless. Well, longer bolts with lock nuts. <laughs> so, obviously, uh, had a little back off situation there. So, I have to rectify that. Anyway, later.